at Goodwill. You can see that right here. And um, it's the first day that it's opened. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to come when it opened. It's They opened like two hours ago. Um, and the parking lot seems pretty full. So we'll see if I'll be able to find anything good. Um, I hope so. But like, this is one of the very few places you can shop in this town. So a lot of people I'm sure are very excited that it's open. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to film much in there because like I said, there's a lot of people and I'm gonna have my mask on anyway. Um, that's one of the requirements to go inside is you have to have a mask. Um, but if not, I will show you guys what I find. Hopefully some good stuff. Okay, so it's been like an hour and a half, and I can't believe I had that mask on for an hour and a half. Um, dang it, where is my hand sanitizer? Okay, so I spent $126, but I got a couple things for myself. Um, for one, I got this rug, um, and I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. The issue with it is that it's like a circle. So I don't know if it's gonna look good in our living room. If not, I was thinking put it in our bedroom, but our, we already have carpet in the room, so I don't know if that's gonna be like a hazard. Oh my God, my ears hurt because it, this is like a rubber band, or not a rubber band, but like a, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, next, I'm going to get some coffee from Starbucks, this is right here, and see if they have any more cups. Um, let me see. Oh my gosh, okay, so they just came out with these, uh, the color changing cups just like last year and I bought 11 boxes of these. I've already sold five, so I'm thinking I should, I sold five in like less than a day, so I'm thinking I should buy more. So let's go see if this Starbucks has some. Okay, so as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I took a little bit of a break um, and was focusing on other things. And you know, like a lot has changed since, in like just like pretty much in like the past month. Like we moved to a new house, um, or we moved into an apartment actually. Um, we sold the cafe, so we are no longer cafe owners. That's a whole nother thing. I don't really want to get too much into it but it's honestly a blessing especially with um covid and all the regulations and everything that's going on it's just like kind of nice to just wipe our hands clean and start onto a new journey for the meanwhile we're going to be staying in this area i don't know if we're going to be moving back to california anytime soon but hold on good how are you good what can i get for you. Do you guys have any of those color changing cups? So no, we do not. Okay. I'm sorry. No problem. Um, can I get a grande vanilla latte hot? Yeah, grande hot vanilla latte. Alright, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Dang it. Okay, so they don't have the cups. But anyway, like I was saying, we're going to be staying here in the Dells uh, for now and especially because we just moved but we're kind of just you know keeping our options open and and seeing what the next step is going to be in our lives but anyway yeah that is an update of my life i guess i don't know if you guys care about this but i figured i would give you guys a little life update since i haven't really been sharing much um, but something else exciting is Ryan is like fully potty trained like she can totally go to the bathroom by herself Which is probably like my biggest accomplishment or our biggest accomplishment during quarantine um, But yeah, I'm just gonna get my coffee 
now head home and then I can show you guys what I ended up picking up and take you guys along for the rest of the day. Probably won't be too exciting. I might just take photos and then yeah, but see you later. Okay, so I am home now and I am snacking. I made these, oh my god, they're, <laughs> I'm sorry, they're strawberry milkshake cookies, mm. and I have been eating them non-stop. I know earlier I was saying how I'm trying to eat better, but like, this is like my crack right here. Anyway, I have this whole bag of stuff that I just bought. And I wanted to show it with you guys. So, we're just gonna do a little quick haul. Um, first thing I got were these suede Zara shoes. Um, I think they're really cute. If they are my size, I wish they were, I would have kept them. But I feel like these are cute little basics um, that someone would enjoy. <clears throat> the next piece I got is this Lulu's dress and it's just like a white lace like deep V little skater dress. Um, I love Lulu's. It sells really good for me some majority of the time. This one was another Lulu's piece. I was kind of iffy on it, but it was only five dollars so I figured why not um, it was in the shirt section, but I know this is a dress. It's a little off-the-shoulder mini dress. It's an extra small. Um, I just think it's basic. It's cute. Someone will like it for summer. For like 4th of July or something. I don't know. I was actually really excited to find this because I had this same exact bikini. Um, and I got rid of it because it was too... It, it was I bought it like when I was pregnant so it was too big but this is also too big so oh well um, it was half off um, and it's the whole set so this is from the brand triangle which I know isn't as popular as it used to be um, but it's good quality and for like the matching set it'll I think it'll do good so this is the top I don't know, I might try it on and see if it fits me. The bottoms are medium, so that's like the iffy part, but the top I know will fit me. Um, and then I got a couple things for myself. So I got myself a sports bra. I liked how it's like a halter kind of style. It doesn't have any pads, and I don't like pads in my bra. Um, it was $7, which is expensive, but I've been trying to find some on like Poshmark, and they're like still like around the same price. And I would have to pay for shipping, and so I just picked this one up. I'm gonna work out later, so maybe I'll wear it. Um, and these, I haven't decided yet if I wanna keep these or not, but I think these are the coolest. Um, I'm not really like a vintage seller, but or like a streetwear seller, but I'm pretty sure this is like vintage Adidas. And it has like the embroidery right there, and there are these shorts. They're a medium, but I think they might fit me. Um, and I just thought they'd be cute for summer with like, a black crop top or something um really cute if not i'll sell them whatever um let's see oh another thing i got for myself this little bowl because i bought sage to burn and i wanted to like put it in a cute little thing so i got this it was three dollars but whatever um, and then this, I haven't decided if I want to keep this or not. It was kind of expensive. It was $8. Um, and it's just a t-shirt, but it's Ivy Park. It's like an oversized with the embroidery on the sleeve. And then it has like, um, the cinched detail on the side. I think this would be really cute. Well, actually, I know it would be really cute. I saw pictures of it on, like stock photos. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. We'll see. Maybe wear it a couple times and then sell it like I usually do. <laughs> um, this is uh, an athlete, a pair of leggings, and I thought they were really pretty. I like the floral detail, uh, the floral print. It's not really detail, I don't know. 
Um, but the brand is Onzi or Onezy. I don't know. Ooh, someone made an offer. I'll have to check that. Um, this brand is like hit or miss. I think that some of the like more sought off, sought after prints do a lot better. Obviously, I didn't look up comps for this, but I thought if it doesn't sell, I'll wear them. They're cute. Very loud for me, but we'll see. This is actually a, like a really like springy haul, especially with this. This was the first thing that I found, and I'm pretty sure this dress was there before it even before like covid and it closed and everything but i and i looked at it then but um it's asos and it's a size i think it's like a bigger oh not really it's an eight okay but it's this it's so pretty hold on how does this work it's like really pretty it is like a cold shoulder so it has these straps but it has this frilly sleeve detail and then it's like asymmetric and long and it has like a ruffle bottom this is not doing it justice but it's really pretty um so pick that up this is probably the thing that's going to bring me in the most money it's nike but and i found this in the men's section like in the men's trench coat section but it's definitely women's and it's their bonded parka jacket um it's I only saw what it's selling for on Amazon. It's selling for like 120 to 160, depending on the size. But um, I thought this was really nice. It's really good quality. It's in really good condition. So why not? Um, and then the rest are all bottoms. Um, the first one, this was fun to find. They are um, brand new at Tags Levi's. And they're a size 32. Um, and they are like the button front, oh, button front 501. So it's like the, you know, most popular style of shorts. These are high rise cutoffs in a dark wash. Um, I almost always pick up Levi's as long as they are high rise, button fly, 501s, wedgies, rib cage, um, mile high, any of those like kinds of things right up my alley um these are vintage i think they're vintage i don't know if they're vintage um wrangler jeans and it says they're a medium but i feel like this is on the smaller side i don't know what size this is but um i'm pretty sure like they sell this at either urban outfitters or anthropology or something with like this specific pocket like detail um they're just high rise and they are straight leg kind of um so i was thinking of keeping them for myself and maybe cutting them into shorts but we'll see and then here is another pair of vintage these are lees and these are, these were half off, that's why I picked them up, but they're like the perfect mom jean with like the tapered leg. Um, and they're bigger size, I think. Pretty sure they are. Oh, it says, actually there's no tech. Oh, here it is. So they're size 10. I don't know if this is a 10. It's a vintage 10, which is probably smaller, but um, I know these will do well. And they were half off, I think I said that. And this is the last thing I don't normally pick this up, this brand up, but they were half off. They're cute, so and I know that they're just like a bread and butter brand, bread and butter brand that um, a lot of other resellers pick up. But they are American Eagle um, skinny jeans with like this distressing detail on them and the distressing okay i know this is gonna sound weird but the distressing is in good condition <laughs> um meaning like they're not like super broken or anything and the size is a 16 so i don't have much plus size in my closet but i think those will be good um so that is all like the clothing stuff that i bought
totally forgot these two big packages are supposed to be shipped through UPS. So we're gonna go to the UPS drop off. Then I'll be done with my shipping. All right. Okay, guys, look at these. I tried on the Adidas shorts that I showed you guys earlier, and are they freaking perfect or what? I don't know what kind of medium this is because it's kind of even like tight on me. Like, I don't know any medium. Maybe it's like a kid's medium, but um, they're super cute. Ugh, I'm so happy. I feel like I would find these on like a streetwear website for like 50 bucks, but I paid eight dollars and they're so cute and this is my new rug that i was sh talking to you guys about earlier um not sure if it's gonna stay here not sure if i'm gonna keep it i really like it but i feel like all of our like our main color is like dark gray so i don't know if that's really gonna work out but it's gonna stay here for now but yeah i just wanted to show you super cute um I don't know what else I'm doing today, so it might be really boring, I don't know, maybe I'll check back in with you guys later, but that's all the exciting things that's gonna happen, so, sorry. <laughs> I decided I'm just gonna end the video here, but I'm gonna do something a little bit special for you guys. Um, on my Instagram, a couple days ago I asked if you guys wanted me to do a giveaway with one of the Starbucks color changing cups and you guys majority of you guys said yes so i'm going to be having a giveaway here on this channel not on my instagram it's going to be on here so make sure that you are subscribed i will be checking you have to subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite starbucks drink is or what your favorite coffee related beverage kind of drink is it doesn't have to be from starbucks um but just leave that below and also leave your instagram name or yeah your instagram username and then if you guys share this video in your posts or something on instagram that will be an extra giveaway too um so i will end this let's see today's friday i'm probably not going to post this video up until tomorrow so i'll end this video um or this giveaway maybe on monday so on memorial day um i will announce the winner so make sure you're subscribed here and make sure that you're following me on instagram um, and let me show you. I'm, it's not just gonna be the cups. You guys are also gonna get um, a couple extra goodies So let me show you guys that really quick. So along with the Starbucks cups, you guys are gonna get this stay-at-home posture shirt um, made by Erin Oscillady. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name um, I have a sweater and I'm absolutely obsessed with it But I got this one and I wanted to give it away to somebody. It's a size medium um, And then this Poshmark hat that is actually from Posh Fixings um so it's off it's authentic but yeah so this is what you guys are gonna get if you guys win and remember just subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram and leave a comment down below all right you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time